Hello everybody, welcome back to Nikos 49. Welcome back to Banished, the Colonial Charter. Our full industry second uh, run of Nomadia. I've got a few comments to go over first before we get things started. So let's go ahead and scoot on over here a little bit. Um, first off, yes, we're gonna, we've got some uh, walnuts that are going to be made. So we could probably make some bread out of that once we start getting that in. So thank you for the, the comment there, Cathra. Uh, someone also asked if we could place an order for um, basically plantation seeds. I actually don't know. I don't think you can because they're all specific. But you know what? If if I can get a trader to pop in here, maybe. I, I bet if I did a specialized trader, we may be able to. Like if we did the food supplier. No, no, not food supplier. Excuse me. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, the farm supplier. So that's seeds and animals. But then I'd have to supply the whole other industry. I suppose I could just do domesticated animals against it and get all the seeds that I want. But again, that's more people running around moving goods, and, and I'm, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to let it just kind of happen. Although it has been like seriously five episodes since I've been looking. Maybe if it doesn't happen this episode, we'll, we'll do something extra about it, right? Um, Silva says, you have a lot of empty pastures. Fill them, please. That's a fair observation, but there's a reason why they're empty. I want to fill them with uh, with animals that come in. You know, like this one. Actually, I should probably put chickens in here. Let's do chickens there, 23. Let, let's manage the chickens here real quick, because I've got 60-something over here. Haha, <laughs> we're making not as much as I thought. Oh, there's all the eggs. There's all the chicken meat. Okay. If I split here, it's that's going to drop it down a little bit. This is probably going to fill. <laughs> it totally did. That's kind of funny. All right, so we did that one. Um, but I did put down some other pastures here. We've got the two things of llamas. Those are full. Horses, chicken, horse, chicken. Uh, we also have our cavalry horse over here, right? I don't have butchers for the horses because we, we like to not think about that. Um, Frisian cows for sure. But I wanted to buy beef cows next, and I wanted to have somewhere to put them. So I'll fill them, but I'll fill them with purchased things. I don't want to split off all of that. Wait, what is that? Is this? Oh, there's the, the fuel cart market. We're going to keep an eye on that. That's right. The apothecary is over here. Right. Okay, we were messing with that. And the iron ore coal mine we were doing here for coal. Right. Okay, I'm remembering all of this. But I don't think I have any other pastures that aren't full. So there's two. Plus the third one here that you called out. So I will probably make more for beef cows and maybe sheep, but honestly, like this, this stuff over here with the wool pens, fan freaking tastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and rats, David, you missed more Darkest Dungeon. Um, the thumbnails are almost done. I will be putting all that up on YouTube. They're very long videos because I'm directly importing them from Twitch. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that too because it's a ton of fun. Um, let's see. Someone just said woot. I like that. The boxes are do uh, domestic animals. Uh, just let it go. I, I don't know what you're referring to, but that's okay. First time seeing this game is with Vape and Noble like your style the best. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I miss I miss doing the co-op stuff with those guys. i got to convince them to do something again. Um, great episode. Freaking love the series. Oh, okay. Andres. I'm giving a shout-out to a special viewer today. Uh, a little Mr. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for hanging out with Dad and watching as we play Banished. I hope you enjoy them. So there's your shout out, my friend. Um, hopefully you're having a wonderful day. And then somebody did say, I noticed your clothing industry is rather low compared to other ones. Yes, I normally prioritize that big time, but that's actually why I needed to do the wool pins because we were woefully behind. I underestimated how much was actually needed. And now we're actually producing more clothing. If we look at the graphs, well, if we look at the wool real quick, we were at zero, and now we're at 764. So we're doing like a million times better. And if better, if we look at our clothing, yeah, we were like, eh, eh, and then we crashed hard. These were several series of nomad uh, bringing in nomads, and that didn't work out too well. This was a purchase. I purchased about 200 worth of clothing, and then it quickly started to decline. This is when I started bringing in wool. Or uh, I, I started doing the domesticated animals and whatnot to make wool from the wool pens. There we go. He can be taught. Food's doing okay. Uh, let's see. And then 
thing about the weird roads. Okay, this this is a good point. So, Eater, thank you for bringing this up. If I go and clear a resource, and then I try to place a road where that cleared resource order is, it gives me a little red box I can't do anything with. It is better to put down your roads first. Just the way I've been um, changing up my playstyle a little bit lately has made it to where that isn't always the case when I'm like placing stuff down. So that's why I've been seeing the weird little red box things, and it's been giving me a hard time about placing them and what what's going on there. So. Yeah, that's a good point. So basically, you want to you want to either get everything already cleared before you do roads, or just put your roads down first, and then clear uh, resources as needed. I'm just kind of tidying up some of these some of these road situations here with some brick. I'm not using brick really for anything else, am I? Let's see, let's go like that, and then go across the front here. There we go. Okay, I will unpause. That's the majority of the comments. I, I may have missed somebody, and if I did, I apologize. <clears throat> I kind of forget what we were doing last night besides just amping up uh, tool production because iron iron was suffering, clothing was coming along, but there's a couple other things, and I need to just buy more seeds and such. But it, I was very tired when I made that recording. Um, let's take a look here. Currently, we have 467 families, 399 homes, so we're still off by quite a bit. We need to finish off some more homes. For production, we are overproducing by about 10,000, maybe 9,000 food. We are underproducing by tools, but that number is starting to, the gap is starting to close a little bit. So we just need to keep an eye on that. We're overproducing on fuel slightly, underproducing on iron, but that gap has actually been uh, dropped quite a bit as well. We're underproducing on stone and logs, but that is actually um, expected, so I'm not concerned about that either. All right. <clears throat> yep, iron is low. I want to make sure this mine needs to finish, but it is finishing, so that life is good. We're going to be dealing with that. Our epidemic is over, thankfully. I appreciate that. Freaking getting done. Pea coats are getting produced over here. This is the one that's doing pea coats. I, I may have had a second one over here at one point, but then I switched one of them to wool at least. Yeah, okay, both, both of them are wool. And let's get a second person working both of those. So that we can get all the coats in there. See, they're making roughly about 100, maybe a little bit more on average a year. Whereas this one made 226 because they had two. I do have the notifications on my phone. I do apologize if that becomes a bit annoying. I just have to... I just have to um, keep it on because wifey's still recovering a little bit from surgery. Um, she's actually doing quite well. So I know that some of you were kind of concerned... Uh, rightfully so. I, I was thoroughly concerned, but um, she's actually doing quite well now, so I appreciate you all asking. So we've got some homes over here. Oh, look at that. Look at the tulips. That's so pretty. Again, I know that we can can those. I, I've never heard of doing that before. So the herbs here, I'm really tempted to do a whole distillery industry. I wonder, can you do tulips? Is there like a tulip... Um, Let's build one of these and just check and look and see what the options are. Is there like a tulip um, wine? You know, there's like dandelion wine. You know, back in down down in the south. That's what they talk about, you know. Or they, they have that there. I'll clear a little bit of this because we're going to do some work there at some point. I should probably go ahead and start clearing things here so that we can get more um, industry there and then plop down some more homes. Raw food being brought in with domesticated animals. That's really good. Uh, I'm going to just leave that be. Not going to mess with it very much at all. I, again, I'm tempted to actually put a bridge here. Let's just do that. Let's do a draw bridge again. Oh, you know, we could probably do the covered bridge. The more scenic route, you know. Will that fit there? Can, let's go over one more. I think that'd feel a little bit better about that. Yeah, there we go. They'll just slip under the covered bridge. It'll be perfectly fine. I am going to need a lot more glasswares if I'm going to go into more of the... Um, wine stuff and, and the moonshine and all that good stuff. So maybe what I should do is put in a couple shore houses over here not to interfere with our excuse me oh big gone. Not to interfere with our uh, fishing dock. So let's make sure we put those in a good spot. This this is prime real estate and I'm just like putting stockpile over here. Silly goose. Let's do the stockpile like this. Like that. This is barely holding anything. So we'll let that get demolished. The iron and coal mine is getting cleared. They actually, the reason it's taking so long, they hadn't removed all the resources there. Do I have just one person working all of these? Oh, I have two. 
I wonder how close they are, though. I have a feeling that we're, we're having a... Yeah, they're not all close. But those, actually, those are pretty good. That first one, that's... Yikes, that's bad. Okay, well, we'll have to put a few more homes down over there. Okay, looks like uh, this is all, like, dried goods supplier. Why don't I buy a little bit of iron? Can I afford that? I've got a bit of ale in here. We can do that. Let's buy some of those. Something's crushed by a rock. Two people were, it looks like, maybe. Can I afford it? I'm pretty sure I can. Overpaying. Or I can do an additional 40 units. Let's do the bone meal. Overpaying by 20? Uh, that's fine. There we go. Just a little bit of iron to supplement there. I'll dismiss from here for now. Since we didn't do a whole lot of trading. Fuel market is doing what it needs to. Look at that. It's doing coke fuel. It's doing fire bundles and charcoal. Oh, but it's not doing furnace fuel. Hmm. That's that's what I wanted it to do. Is there a materials cart? There's an edibles. There's edibles and there's fuel. Gosh, there's not a materials one, is there? I guess I could just put a materials market. Yeah, let's put a materials stall in over here. Maybe I should do it right here. Let's cancel out that stone storage over there. And let's go market. Material stall. There we go. We'll just do that. And we'll keep an eye on that because I'm curious to see how that behaves. I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing there. All right. Uh, fuel market or fuel cart. I'll go ahead and get rid of I don't want the overlapping stuff over here. The mine is actually being constructed right now. It has all the materials it needs. That's good. <clears throat> Let's jump back up over here. We need more homes here, and we need more homes here. So, where is the market that we place? So I put one in here somewhere. Oh, well. Yeah, it was like right over here, wasn't it? Oh, it reallocated. Wait, where, where did that one go? It's like constantly shifting because of uh, people dying and moving around in homes. Interesting. I'm going to leave that at sand. I'm going to mark it as not worked. And then let's go ahead and put down a few more. These are the shore houses. We need to make sure we've got enough of these to kick off some other industries. Plus, we can get some more people to work here. I wonder if I can fit any little homes here. No, I can't. There's the old rustic ones. We, we've got to stick with the rustic, actually. Hold on. The rustic about. It's going to take a bit more fuel to keep those up and operational. But you know what? Aesthetically, it looks better. Right? Could have a little barn here for them to, to move their goods. That might make them a little more efficient. Because, look, these guys... Actually, those are getting pretty full these storage warehouses. Why don't we put in a, a set right here. And then we'll also have a road put down next to it. Right? And then we'll put down a handful of homes. And you know what? This time, why don't we do the multi-layered homes? I haven't done those in a bit. So, all right, coal mine. Oh, right. Coal... Five, one, two, three, four, five. That's the mine that just finished. It's kind of in my way. So we're going to move that. Let's go like this. There's the road. One, and then one, two, three. And then there's a road right there. Oh, actually, that's not going to work. Um, we're going to have to make it a little bit tighter. I, I put that gap in there just to make sure there's enough room. There we go. And then where's this trader? Okay, you're fine. We're going to dismiss you, and, and that'll be good to go. Material stall for some reason. Oh! It just got done, and nobody's there to work it. So we've got coal and iron being moved in there. Hoping that one of those gets shifted over. You know what I don't have? Enough enough seed oil. I need more canola. I need a lot of canola. I have a ton of oats. You know what? Let's, let's change this oats to uh, canola. Because my production there is actually suffering. We'll lose a little bit of actual food. We're purchasing at a good rate, so we should be okay. Let's switch that to canola. Hardwood, clay. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know, guys. Oh, geez. Are all these full? Ugh, I'm not paying attention to these, and we, we're constantly getting in trouble with this. Now, what about down here? Oh, boy. They're all full. Oh, my gosh. Um. All right, we're, we're just going to watch this one, and we're going to upgrade this. Right, and then that'll be upgraded, and then we'll do all this. And I might just remove this because I don't like having this many that close together because of fires. If it'll just jump there and you lose a ton of stock, 
I'm really actually concerned about that. We've got tin over here for materials. I'm I'm not seeing the furnace fuel. So charcoal and coal. I don't know, guys. That's um it goes in the materials warehouse, but it's I can't seem to pull the resource to a specific place with a market, so that's kind of unfortunate. I swear when I started whew, I started recording. I just started yawning like crazy. Isn't that weird? Okay, here we go. Distillery. What can we do? We can do sugarcane, apples, sorghum, figs, figs, herbs. Okay, we knew that. And that's glassware, furnace fuel, and herbs. And then potato, barley, rye, berries, and pumpkin. Flip? What is this? Pumpkin, canteen, and furnace fuel. I've actually never seen that before. Have, have any of you in the comments actually seen that? That's, that's interesting. Anyway, we will do... Um, why don't we put down... Put down two more of these. We're this is a lot for one specific industry. To be completely real with you guys, that's actually quite a dedication of uh, resources. Upgrade you. You know, just upgrade them both because I don't want to. I don't want to run into the same situation we were elsewhere. All this sand. Uh, we are going to have to build a little industry over here, I think, for glasswares. So why don't we go in here to the production, and we'll do glassworks. And I'll put it behind these homes. Hopefully the people here will uh, be able to work here and be nice and close. There we go. We want a gap of one, and then we'll back them up against each other. There we go. And then maybe we could do some more furnace fuel right here. Like next to the home. I, I have a feeling that we're gonna we're actually going to run into that issue of not having enough. Okay, two traders. What do you have? You don't have anything I specifically need right now. And you, apple, pepper, and soybean. Why don't we just start buying? Why don't we do that? So, trade items. Do I have apples? Do I have peppers? And do I have soybean? Nope. Let's buy them all. Let's buy them all. Okay, our food situation is starting to even out a little bit. We're going to need to uh, keep good eye on that. Can I afford all of this? That's the real question. I can't sell ale, but I do have domesticated animals. I was going to say I can't afford any of this, but um, I've got the animals, so we actually might be fine. Let's see what we can do. I might need to put like five on that. I got five on it. There we go. How about that? Clicky click. 200 more. How about some bone meal? Didn't know you wanted that. All right. Peppers, soybean, and apples trade dismiss we'll get them out of here okay our storage barn over here is almost done fire building supplies fire bundles 10 i mean having this material stall specifically is probably going to help but i'm not seeing furnace fuel at all glass yeah whatever we'll we'll uh stop monitoring that we know it doesn't work oh all these random homes that need to be upgraded we should really upgrade these let's get a couple country homes going i know that there's some there's some old families here that need to be tended to but um we can deal with that. Any of these not completely full? You're not completely full. We're going to upgrade you and have it dump all the stuff over here into the warehouse. Okay. Now we need more food. Strangely enough. We need a ton more food. And we need... Um, these herbs need to start coming into here. We need to start making all that good stuff. We'll, we'll deal with that here in a moment. I think we should split this up with some homes or something. So, why don't we could do a series of colonial homes and a marketplace. Ooh. Let's do the old town market. It's the old town market. San Francisco treat. Ding, ding. There we go. And then let's go ahead and put in some colonial homes. Or maybe not colonials. Maybe we'll do something else. Colonial homestead. What? Uh, we have an, an outbreak of influenza. That could be really bad, actually. I have a lot of hospitals. We've already seen that. We've already been through that. I'm going to kind of let it do its thing. There's row homes, too, that I haven't even touched. Those are requiring a lot of other new stuff. So, um, you know what? Let's let's stink and do it. Let's just do it. Wait, we got a trader. Got a trader here. Should I buy some furnace? Yeah, let's just buy some furnace fuel. I'm, 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 for some reason, actually worried about this. I don't know why. Like, 
we've been watching it and it's not an issue, but I, I don't know. I'm just being weird about it. Can I buy... Oh, there's only 20 pipes. Overpaying by five? I don't really care. That's fine. Trade. Anything else? Iron tools? We don't want iron tools. We don't need ore. We'll just dismiss him. Let's go back up over here. All right. So the, the captain's house... Put the captain's house in. Let's put one gap and then let my paranoia live wild and free. And we'll put down a well. What about a gazebo? A decorative gazebo? Look at all the fancy stuff it's going to take for that. You know what? Let's do it. Um, yeah. Right by the old market, there's a gazebo. This is the officer's area. Away from the barracks. Let's see. Artisan house. Officers' homes. Um, there's three. Family townhouse. And then maybe at the end here, conservatory. Uh, that's like an add-on. I don't know if I want to do that right now. The artisan home, though, we definitely want to do there. That actually works out with the road situation as well. Maybe we'll put some more stuff in there. Actually, I should I should finish this off of whatever it's going to be. What else could we do? What decorative things? There's some native stuff. There's some military uh, nonsense. What was I going to do? There, there was something else. Old buildings. Danger. I actually don't want to place any of those. Something weird might happen. Um, why am I not seeing the, the decorative? Additional decorative pieces. What is this? Road seamless decoration. Floor block for the key floor block. Key buildings. Okay, I don't want to do those. Fortress and palisade. Are these fencing? Palisade wall corner. Oh! Oh, that looks cool! <gasps> we need to do that over by the military base. Oh my goodness. We need to do it! What are, what are these? The old castle. Haha! <laughs> What the heck? The old castle is like a, uh, it's like a big, it's a big supplier place, actually. It's kind of funny that I, I found that. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, it's right there. Decorative stuff with a tree. Hello, my name is Night Ghost. All right, I have stone statues now. Look at that, stone statue depicting the governor astride a llama. Oh my goodness, you know you need that. And then a flag. Should we... Should we have a flag of, like, all the nations? Oh, we totally should. All the ones that come up? Okay, so we, the blue flag was first. We're just going to go until the flags kind of stop. Colonial U.S., don't tread on me. Oregon? That's the something Jack. I forget the name of it. Somebody's going to murder me in the comments for not remembering that. I think we're not even at the end, are we? Ah, ah, that's the last one. They're going to build all the flags. Okay, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Jade statue. I don't have any jade statues. I don't have any iron statues either. But we should start making... Oh, what if we made iron statues? Our industry sucks right now for iron compared to what we need. So let's not go too far. Planter bases. Wild trees. Flowers. Oh my goodness. What is happening here? Large round base. There we go. Wide planters. Oh, I wanted to do one in the middle. Let, let's do that. Let's clear. I'm now. I'm. Oh boy. Nycoast has found this. The pretty tools. Ah! Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And we'll do another large one. Bone meal. Well, there's one way to do bone meal. Look! Look at all that. We're bringing together nations under the military rule of the captain's house. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my goodness. And then we could do the brick road going like this, right? There we go. There we go. And then we'll just put in some some um, country homes. Yeah. No. It'll be off by one, but you know what? I'm going to live with it this time. Well, can I... No, let's just do country homes. I, I like this idea. Kind of surprised we had enough stock for it. Oh, no! Um, town abode? It'll fit. If it fits, it gets placed. That's not the, the meme. 
All right. <clears throat> Our storage barn's done over here, which means this one's done. So let's just continue to do a little leapfrog action and get these all resolved because there is not enough storage over here. We're going to continue to mess with this problem. Food's going down a little bit. I got to be careful. That's what this is. We're we're actually clearing all this so we can get more food. Um, I am going to tell it to clear everything again. I know. Let's do a road in front of these guys. And what we'll do instead of letting this look so bad is we will double the road there. And from here, I can put in more um, more food. We just bought a bunch of stuff. We can put in some orchards for apples and whatnot. That'll be good. Here's walnuts. I like it. Um, let's put a road around the gazebo. Gazebo. Okay, snow's coming in. Ah. There you go. We need six people working this old town market. It's only like 30%. We need to get that stacked up a whole heck of a lot more. Well, this episode's been interesting, huh? We've just been dancing around all kinds of things. We don't have the apothecary, apothecary going. We don't have uh, this making herb or apple, which we could do, definitely. Applejack. We don't have it making the uh, the herb product yet, not vodka. There's herbs. There's herbs. What do you have for us, friend? Beef cows. We're buying beef cows. Eight of them? Yes, please. All right. Domesticated. We're going to sell you domesticated animals for this. What, do you, what is it going to take? All right. Well, we don't need the extra horses, actually. So we're going to back off of this and say, what, five more? 150 more units? How about some bone meal? That's not weird. There you go. Beef cows. Now get out of here. Where are our pastures? They're over this way? I had two of them. No, they're over here. Here we go. Beef cows. You know what? Let's just go ahead and designate these for beef. Okay? Eight out of the eleven. That's actually a whole not a whole heck of a lot, is it? In one space. We'll have to upgrade that a little bit more. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode here. We've got a trader coming in. What shall they be next? Tune in next time. I should add some like suspenseful thing there at the end. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out. I'm gonna record another episode now. So I've got two. We can get ahead on this because I've got another project that I want to start working on. And I would like to start working on it tonight. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to say thank you again to you wonderful people. I'm going to go grab some water so I'm not so parched. And I'm going to do the second episode. So thank you all again. And I will see you next time. Later.